You are moving, but someone won't know until it is too late. You are moving, but someone will not know until it is very, very, very late. You are about to leave where you are. God is about to change your location, but someone will not know until there's nothing they can do about it because if they know, they are going to stop it from happening. If they know, they are going to prevent it. So you have to pack your bags, get ready. You might have the information, but you have to keep it under the radar. So I had this um, acquaintance of mine. She's not really a friend. And she told me she was getting married. I'm like, wow, where's your husband? She told me her husband was in another part of our country. Her husband is in Yaoundé. Her husband works with an NGO. So when they get married, she'll still stay back here um, where we are in Boya and she'll not travel immediately to meet her husband. So I was like, okay. And they got married and immediately her husband went back. So I thought maybe her husband had gone back to where the husband was. One month later, I saw her. She is now in the United States. And so I asked her, why did you lie about it? Why did you tell me your husband is, is in Yaoundé, another town of Cameroon? And why she said, no, she has been fought on several counts. As a matter of fact, this man who got married to her was, was about her seventh shooter who had already, they, had, they already had wedding plans and everything and it backfired. And she said she only told a very few people about the wedding and it was very close to the day of the wedding. She did not want to say the guy is from abroad because she knows it would have been fought like it was done in time past. And when I was praying, God just reminded me of her scenario and he told me it was great wisdom because when you go through certain things, if you are not wise, if you do not learn from the past, you are going to repeat the same mistake in the future. And so what she did was a very wise move to keep evil eyes away from her. Before people could know that she was traveling abroad, she was already there married and there was nothing they could do about it. And God is saying, you are about to travel, but you've got to keep your mouth really sealed so that you stop every possibility of the devil trying to ruin that for you. You have to keep it under the radar. You have to keep it to yourself until it is done. And this is not just for marriage. This is for everything you want to do. Learn to always be silent about it until you have done it. So you do not give the devil room to interfere in it. Hallelujah. I hope that this word has blessed you and is encouraging you in some sort. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.